What is up guys, today I'm back again with another video. Today I'm going to be discussing 7 trade scenarios the Cavaliers should consider before the trade deadline. The first trade scenario is a deal sending George Hill to the Cleveland Cavaliers and Channing Frye and Amon Schumbert to the Kings. This deal would be good for the Cleveland Cavaliers because it would get Amon Schumbert's contract off and bring in a nice scorer and defender in George Hill. Second trade scenario is a deal sending DeAndre Jordan and Lou Williams to the Cleveland Cavaliers and Tristan Thompson, Jarr Smith, and the Brooklyn Pig to the Clippers. The Clippers would accept this deal due to the fact that they have stated multiple times that they are going into a rebuild and they would want to trade DeAndre Jordan and Lou Williams. They recently traded Blake Griffin to the Detroit Pistons. The third deal would be a deal sending Julius Randle to the Cavs and J.R. Smith and Channing Frye to the Lakers. This would be a great deal for the Cavs because they are in much need of a center. This would be a great deal for the Lakers as well because they have said multiple times that Julius Randle is on the trade block and a shooter like J.R. Smith would fit really well with the Lakers and help them a lot with their lack of shooting abilities. The fourth trade idea would be a deal sending Marcus Stahl to the Cavs and Jay Crowder, Tristan Thompson, and Amon Schumbert to the Grizzlies. This would be a great deal for the Cavs because they are in much need of a center and Marcus Stahl's great shooting abilities in the post and mid-range would help them a lot. The Grizzlies would consider doing this deal since Marcus Stahl grew a little frustrated with the organization and after finding Fisdale and getting players like Jay Crowder, a nice 3 d player, and Amon Schumbert, a very good defender, and occasionally he could score the ball for you. Tristan Thompson, a pretty good rebounder, and sometimes shows out and provides offense. The fifth deal is the deal sending Kemba Walker to the Cavs and J.R. Smith, Derrick Rose, and Amon Shumpert to the Hornets. This deal would be great for the Cavs because they'll get Kemba Walker, an underrated point guard who is currently averaged 23 points per game. And this deal would be pretty good for the Hornets because, like they stated earlier in the season, Kemba Walker is currently on the trade block. And let's not forget, Derrick Rose did average 18 points per game last year with the Knicks and showed some promising of his old self besides the fact that he got injured towards the end of the year. And J.R. Smith will average more points per game due to the fact that he'll have more time with the ball in his hands and, and is a pretty good ISO player. And then with the Montrumper, they could just use him in the game for his defensive skills. The sixth trade idea would be a deal sending Tyreek Evans to the Cavs and J.R. Smith and a Cleveland first rounder to the Grizzlies. This deal would be great for the Cavs because they would get a nice scorer in Tyreek Evans and a great deal for the Memphis Grizzlies because, like the Grizzlies said, they're willing to trade Tyreek Evans for a first round draft pick. And you throw in a good shooter like J.R. Smith, that'd be a pretty good deal. The seventh trade idea a deal sending Paul George to the Cavs and J.R. Smith the Brooklyn pick, and in Montchumper to the Thunder. This deal would be a great deal for the Cavs because number one, they would add another all-star to the team, and number two, they would get an amazing scorer and defender in Paul George. This deal would be, be great for Oklahoma because if Paul George tells the Thunder that he's leaving this offseason, they might as well try to train him for a pick and a shooter like Jared Smith and a great defender like Amon Montchumper. And you might as well think, Oh, this deal is terrible. Well, his trade value goes down a lot since he'll be a free agent this offseason. And not to mention, this is the most unrealistic trade out of these seven. So I don't really expect this one to happen. But thank you guys for watching and please subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.